Hey guys, what is up? The new Cubist here. Welcome to episode number 10 of my Minecraft 2 survival let's play. Alright, so in the last episode we established this auto fisher, so this will be fishing for us 100% automatically. Uh, as you can see we have a nice assortment of fish and it will also get us some really cool stuff like enchanted books. Um, so I ended last episode saying that I would begin this episode with a cow slaughter, so I'm going to get on with that. Um, I don't want to do it, but I've got to do it for the got to do it for the enchantments. Um, so we'll get on with it. It shouldn't take too long. I don't know. I don't know if this is something enjoyable to watch. I guess if you're a if you're a vegan or a vegetarian, you're watching that. They, they are you know just pixelated. They're not real. But it's still kind of like it's kind of uncomfortable. Uh, but just skip this part. But yes, I have to do this. I need uh, most of these cows to be gone. Um, we have 44 leather. I'm gonna keep a count on the leather. 44.22, okay. Um, so there is a lot of cows in here, as you guys can see. They kind of run away from me, um, which makes sense since I'm, like, killing all their their friends, children, and family, like, right in front of them. So I would be running away, too. Um, but again, I do need the leather, desperately. Um, the only thing we're really waiting on now is sugarcane, ironically. <laughs> Usually I always have an excess of sugarcane. I mean, I have a giant sugarcane farm, uh, but for some reason it just isn't growing too fast which is okay it's not a big deal we have time no rush but yeah let me finish killing these cows this is not as exciting as I thought um, and once I am done I'm not gonna kill all of them but I'm gonna kill most of them and once I've done that I will come right back okay so if we need to kill more we will but I think that is definitely enough for now let me just make sure I got all the leather because for some reason there was a little bit of leather still on the ground um, but yeah, we have over two stacks. We have exactly two stacks of leather. That's that's kind of funny. Um, and again, all we're waiting on is the sugar cane. Uh, we, actually, we have a stack on our in our inventory. I wish I could bone meal sugar cane, but again, I can't. Let me clean up this inventory a little bit. It looks like a mess. Okay, much better. And then we'll put up our trowel, which we use to gather worms with, which we can use as bait in the uh, enchantment hill. We'll just we'll throw it into here. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and make as much as we can, but I don't think we can make that many more books. Um, yeah, 21 more books, that's 7 more bookshelves. Not nearly enough to finish this out, but close enough, I guess. Um, but yeah, we're gonna build something fancy over the enchantment table. I want it to look cool. I mean, who doesn't want their enchantment table to look cool, am I right? Uh, but I'm gonna try to do something somewhat special. I don't even know what what level can we get 24 So we're getting very close. We're inching ever so closely to the precipice of level 30 enchants Which is a good thing guys. I'm excited to finally test to see if I can enchant a hammer um, I'm not gonna do it off the bat. I think what I'm gonna in where'd that go? I think what I'm gonna enchant off the bat is something else um, But we also can build a mob spawner relatively soon if you do remember that we discovered that mob spawner It was back over in that direction somewhere um, I did build a little cobblestone pillar so that we can find it. It is kind of deep underground, which is not ideal, per se, um, but it's not that bad, right? We'll still be able to build it. It'll still function, which is all I really need it to do. All right, let me sleep. All right, a new day, and it looks so good. I always like watching the sunrise a little bit. I mean, look at it. Who wouldn't? Li Just take a second. Anyways. Um, let's go and check on the sugar cane, which, you know, it's been like two seconds, so none of it's grown. <laughs> but, you know, we could check on it a little bit. We have 29 of it, um, we're still just kind of waiting on that. Uh, I guess what we could go do is scope out that spawner. I don't know if it'll unload the chunks, though, and then it won't grow the sugar cane, so it's probably not a good idea, but I do want to make sure, um, I remember its location. I think it's somewhere, like, over here. I, it's not too far away. Yeah. <gasps> So, I'm oh, sorry, it's okay. I, some, I have these weird things where I, like, I breathe in before I hiccup. <gasps> okay, thanks, 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 body, for making me hiccup while explaining how I hiccup. But, yes, this is where the mob spawner is, so I don't want to forget this. I probably won't. I mean, I just remembered it, so I don't know how I could forget it. But that's where the mob spawner is. We will go there and build a spawner either uh, probably next episode or the episode after that. Um... But I need to build a potato farm right now. That's actually what a good idea. Because potato farms can be used in this beautiful machine called the compost bin. Right? Um, so it's not the normal composter. It's something a little different. And it gives you worms. And worms you use in bait in this little fissure right there. Um, which, by the way, what, did it, what has it gotten so far? You can also enchant this thing. Um, you can enchant this. Uh, so it still has a lot of uses left. So does the bait pot. It's going up. Um, 
it's discovered some cotton, some sticks, not that big of a deal, but I, I you know, it, it's going. It's autonomous and it works. So to do this, we're going to need to see if we have any redwood. I don't know. Uh, I've mined so many of those trees in the past few days. Or in the past, um, I don't know. I feel like I have enough redwood to build one. No, I don't. I only have five locks. Oh, God. Okay, well, you know what we're going to have to do? I'm going to have... Well, what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to mine one of those big trees. That thing took forever, and I know it's going to take another axe. This thing has... I don't know how many durability left, but definitely more than at least one tree. Uh, but let's see. Which one is blocking our style the most? Uh, probably this one over... No, not those ones. If I look over at the house, sometimes the light over here gets blocked by the trees. So what tree is it? Um, it's probably like we'll just start with this one right here. Oh Man, I'm gonna regret this immensely. It just takes so long to mine it um, But yes, I'll come back when I'm mining it downwards, which is the fun part All right, well, I'll tell you right now these trees are too big. They're just too big. They really are I don't know why I, I, I like living near this forest. It gives me some perspective There are trees like this in the real world you know, that the California redwood forests I think they're in California. I could be wrong. Biggest trees in the world. And I guess that, that, that name suits them. You know, the, or, you know, their reputation is also true. And here they are the biggest trees in the Minecraft world, too. Um, but yeah, one of these trees, like you saw, I mean, that was a, like a medium tree. This is a big chonker. Three by three. Um, got us a little bit uh, close to two stacks, but not quite there. Um, if that's not enough to build a little potato farm, then I'm not going to get more wood because that's too much. Um, I'm gonna take some of this redwood fence that we have and we're just we're gonna make it build it in the same style I may have made uh, This axe a little too quickly. It's not that big of a deal though I'm just gonna throw the new one into here Hopefully I don't forget that we have this crafted. I really hope we don't forget that um, If we do that'd be a darn shame Okay, so we need slabs. We need lanterns um, I can make lanterns pretty easily. I don't know how many though. I guess maybe that's enough Let's take like 20 We'll start with 20. If we need more, we will craft them. Um, but they are kind of resource intensive a little bit. I mean, not really. Uh, but 20 lanterns, I think, should be ample lanterns. Um, and then we're going to need some slabs. Now, lucky for us, we do have a bit of fence left. And by a bit, I mean a lot of extra fence left. Uh, but then we're going to need some dirt. Which we have a little bit in here. We have a little bit of dirt everywhere. We don't really have a good chest organization. Uh, yet. Uh, we will eventually. Uh, we do need to decide the area to build it in, so it's probably smart to put it in our hotbar. Okay, so, uh, I want to put it next to this farm, just because, you know, having two farms, um, isn't bad. Um, we just need to remove all this stuff. If this area is going to be somewhat colonized, then we need to make sure we actually properly do it. We'll remove this right here. We'll just go ahead and remove all these things here, just because they look kind of... I don't know, it just looks kind of messy if you have all this stuff here. So we'll, we'll go ahead and remove all of this. Hopefully that's the last log. Yes. Thank God. Wow. That's always so loud because the vines break and they're just like extra loud. But look, that fast fast leaf, leaf clearing mod, best thing in the world. If you're going to install any mod, just install that one mod and you will be satisfied. I promise. It's honestly, it makes mining trees so much more bearable. Like so much more bearable. Okay. I need, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna end up clearing the whole dang thing. Okay. Uh, so we'll just start it out. I'm not gonna make it, um, like the other one. Or, you know what? I'm gonna make it somewhat like the other one. Um, but I want it to be a little bit wider. Uh, because I want a lot of potatoes for these worms. Um, so I don't know if I need to have a little bit of water in the middle. If I do it like this. Uh, but I really don't know. But we'll end it, like, right there. So how wide is this? Yeah, we may need... Can I even... Is there even a middle to this, though? No, there's not. It's going to have to be like a two-wide middle. Um, so we will have to have a little bit of water in the middle. I just don't know where. Um, we have a bucket on us, so it's not a problem, actually. I just didn't want to go all the way back home. We don't have a hoe to plant it or the potatoes, but that's the last step. Uh, I think we have like 44 potatoes. Something around there. Something Somewhere around 40 potatoes. So it will not we won't be able to grow all of them off the bat like fill up this entire thing with potatoes um, But at least we'll be able to get somewhat close and I kind of want to mirror the style That's why I grabbed the redwood because I wanted to 
I don't know, I want all the builds to have the same style of structure and material choice, which is good. Congruency, in your, another tip, if you're is that already all my dirt? Okay. Um, if you're trying to make your world look really good, um, try to use a lot of the same materials, I think. I mean, I, th that's usually what I stick with. Obviously, if you don't have all these mods and stuff, um, you know, you don't have to use redwood or anything. I mean, it really doesn't matter. Um, but if you want to make your world look as good as possible, I'll take both these in preparation for one of them breaking. We have yeah, 44 potatoes. So I think one of those numbers I guessed was 44, um, or at least somewhere around there. And uh, a good thing about doing a project, all our sugar cane is going to grow. I actually don't think we need that much more sugar cane, but it's going to grow, which is helpful. So every three blocks, we actually have a log. I need to start the pattern, though, over here. Or no, I'm going to start it at the beginning, um, like right here, like this. And then we will just connect it over here. And then one, two, three. Okay, one, two, three. Yes, and then we have one right here. And then one, two, three. Right there, one, two, three. Yes, kitty, what do you want? Here, I'll, I'll turn up my gate, and that way you can hear the cat. What do you want? Hello? Hello? Come here. What do you want? What do you want? Are you going to meow, or are you just going to walk? Can you do a meow for me? No, he's just going to rub on my leg. Okay. Well, I'm sorry. I hope you guys don't mind me trying to get the cat to talk. You Sometimes, you know, cats, they're very... They're, they're ready to chat, and then other times they're like, nah, dude, I'm good. I don't want to talk to these humans right now. <laughs> Simple creatures. I'm going to go take a poop and then eat some food and then take a nap. That's essentially their whole life. They poop, eat, and sleep. Um, you know, what's, what's different than humans, I guess, right? All right, well, I'm going to come back with it today because I don't want to build in the night where you guys can't see, and I, I, I can still see perfectly fine, but I know it's harder for you guys to see in the dark. Cause, Cause YouTube dark, it's everything. I don't know why. Don't ask me. Okay, so like I said, I don't know if the middle of this will be saturated or not. Uh, water will go four, so one, two, three, four. So it'll go to right here. Yeah, so the middle will have to have a little bit of water buckets, um, just kind of randomly throughout it. One, two, three, four. So I'm gonna need one water bucket like right here. Um, I'll need another bucket like one, two, three, four, like right here and then I think that'll be good uh, but we'll go ahead and till some of this middle area and see what sticks and what doesn't because that's that's the most difficult part of this one two three four yeah that's the most difficult part of this entire build um, and I'll put redwood slabs over them but yeah like one two three four is how far it goes so yeah one more bucket like right right at the beginning I think like right here should be absolutely perfect I don't think we'll need more than that um, but yes, to, to mirror the exact same style that we have, we're going to need to make a bunch of these. And we're going to place these all around the farm. So, pretty easy. This step is easy. We also need to have a three space. One, two, th one, two three. And then we're going to have a log. But then you have a problem. One, two, three. And then we're going to have a log. So there's going to be... Actually, you know what? That's not bad. It's the same style. It doesn't matter if the spacing isn't exact. I think that's honestly fine. Because we'd have to disassemble this whole structure we built and make it one wider. And like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> like seriously, I'm not going to do that. That's too much. And then it's these bad boys on top and then a lantern in between. So pretty easy. Um, and you know, it's good that we have a farm style, I suppose. Or something. I mean, at least it looks nice. It's pretty, it's, it's easy on the eyes. It, it is, I think. And then we'll put the lanterns down, till it all, plant it, and it should be ready to go. And now that we've taken all this time to do this, our sugar cane has grown. But really the only reason I'm growing potatoes is purely because I just want to use them for um, worm farming. Um, which is good because we really, really need those guys. Um, if we want to run this auto fisher. We can also enchant that thing, um, which we need a mob spawner to get XP for. So, I'm setting a lot of goals here, and they're good goals. I think I think they're very achievable. Uh, I think two lanterns here is more than okay. So yeah, this, this hoe will probably run out pretty soon. So I brought the stone one with us for a reason. Good on me for thinking of it. Um, how quickly though it will run out, I am unsure. 
Um, I don't know if this middle area, yeah, that middle area will till. All right, I just, it didn't get saturated, but I think that's just because, um, I don't know. Sometimes it just doesn't get saturated. And I will go all the way, okay. I will go all the way to like right here. Um, and then maybe I'll do a little bit over here or something. I may not end up planting things there, I don't know. This thing's also going to run out far before we get to the end. That's okay though. We can always go make another. I mean, do we have any stone? No, we could make a wood one, but that's not even worth my time. I'll just run back up to the house. We'll either make a diamond one or an iron one. Man, that sucks. <laughs> right, as, right as we're about to get there. Oh, look at our sugar cane too. It's like almost all too high. Yes, very, very good. Okay, let's make this real quick. Okay, there we go. Back to the farm. We need the potatoes in our inventory. We can go ahead and put up all the stuff to all the wood that we're not... We're, actually, the jungle wood is in here for bookshelves, which we may not need that much more of. Okay, but we'll put all this stuff up. Um, anything else? Seeds we don't need. We don't need these in our inventory. We're going to keep the leather. Uh, but all this stuff, though, we can make back into ingots. I'm glad I only made 20. I only made like a few extra, like five extra lanterns. Usually I end up with just a butt ton of extra lanterns. That's not good. You want to be efficient about things. I think. Someone, oh my god, are you, dude, I have 52 lanterns in here. 52, why did I have 52 lanterns to begin with? Dude, there's something wrong with me, I swear, there's something wrong. I had 52 lanterns. 52. How much was that? A, I think I made. I think I made those with a whole stack of iron. I remember making them. Why could I not remember that? Oh man, <laughs> that kind of sucks. A little bit. It's not that big of a deal, but like, uh, I was worried because I had five extra lanterns and I had 52 in a chest. But whatever. Um, so I'm gonna kind of plant these things erratically. Um, I know that when plants have a space, they will grow quicker. Like when they have a space in between them. And we can't really fill up the farm yet. We do have a lot of bone meal. What do you want, kitty? Meow. It's just like, meow. See, once you have a cat for a while, you can mimic exactly how they sound. Because you hear it, like, every single day. If you heard something every single day, you'd be able to mimic it, mimic it too. So, sometimes I'll meow back at the cat. Like, if they're really annoying me, like, I'll just do what they're doing just louder and, like, repeatedly. In hopes that they'll be like, oh, okay, fine, I won't meow. Like, you don't care about me, obviously, or something. I don't know. It's just in hopes that they'll stop meowing. Sometimes cats get, you know, in a mood where they really want attention. But I gotta work. I gotta do this. I can't always be petting the cat or playing with the cat. But, you know, there's also two of them here now. So, it gets kind of crazy. Not really crazy. I promise. I'm not like a weird cat person. I just think they're cute. I mean, they're nice little furry animals. And they just hang out, eat and poop and sleep. And they will uh, let you pet them, which is good. I always wanted a cat since I was a little kid. I don't know why. I just like, see, like, listen. What are you doing? See, as soon as I turn my gain up all the way, to show you guys what's happening, they just, it, he just stops. He's like, oh, I'm on camera. Let me put on my, my mannerful face. How many, okay, so we had, oh, we already have over two, I forget, like, how efficient potatoes are. So we started with 44, right? And we already have over two stacks from just mining those 44 potatoes. How? I really don't know. Uh, but look, we literally have this many potatoes now. How that happens, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, let me plant all these down. I'm not going to film this, because, well, actually, you know what? I filmed most of it, so, you know what, we're already going to film it. We're just gonna do it. It's not like, you know, I'm gonna run out of film or anything. I could run out of hard drive space. I guess that's the modern equivalent if you're recording like your screen. You could run out of hardware space. So one thing I really wanna do, I wanna get an Elgato HD60 capture card because I capture my screen right now using software. And like, it's fine, but it's really big file size. And you know, I'm lucky to have a computer that can handle it. Uh, but getting something like that would be awesome. And I just thought of a really good mod idea. A bone meal spray can or something like that. A bone meal watering can. You put bone meal in a can and it'll do bone meal in like a 3x3 three three area or you can make a diamond one and it'll do a 5x5 five five area. That way if you know you have excess bone meal like me, you don't have to just like do it like this. Which is kind of a pain, so I'm not going to show this, so hold on. Okay, well the sun's already setting again, but check this out. Look how many potatoes we got. Um, I'll go back 
You know what? Hold on. I'll just come back after I've slept. So give me a second. Actually, well, let me place the rest of these. But look, we have like almost our entire potato farm fully grown uh, with potatoes. That's that's a good thing I didn't make you watch that because, man, that took a while. But hold on. Let me sleep. All right. Check this out, guys. We're going to mine all these potatoes. We're going to get so many we don't know what to do with. We're going to have like an inventory full of potatoes. I'm going to call them potatoes, too, because I'm from Oklahoma. We call them potatoes here. Look at, no, we don't actually. I'm just I'm just making stuff up. Okay, how many potatoes is that? Because that's got to be... Ew! No one wants poisonous potatoes. Those are gross. Tastes like arsenic and ricin. Ricin doesn't have a taste, I don't think. Don't track me, government. Okay, look at all this. Look at all these potatoes. Are we going to need this many potatoes, you ask? No, I'm going to plant all these back, though. Um, this will be able to fill up. Our, our farm was all the way filled up. I don't know what I was talking about. I was saying we were almost able to fill up our farm. We literally had our farm full it filled up all the way. So let me fill this up again. Okay, so we have a little bit of excess potatoes. Um, but we do have a beautiful potato farm now. So now what we can do is we can throw these bad boys into here. And I assume we could use a hopper to get them out. Uh, but they do go pretty quickly, um, which is nice. So you can just kind of fill it up like this. Just shift click repeatedly. Uh, we get a lot of worms. Worms are used for bait in the fissure strainer thingy. Okay, so we have a whole thing. Uh, we have fertilizer too, so it kind of gives back. And uh, fertilizer allows you to um, grow things like bone meal. It's not any better though. It's like just a bone meal equivalent. Oh, that was. I thought those were mobs. I was like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> what are you guys doing all the way over there, huh? But yeah, we don't have anything great thus far. Um, but it's just going AFK for us, so I'm really not that concerned about it. Um, let's go ahead and put everything back into here how we like it. We'll go ahead and put this up. We don't need it. Um, where'd the fertilizer go? I think it's still in there. Anyways, let's mine all the sugar cane. Let's get the bookcases going. Let's get our first enchanted pickaxe. It's been a long time coming. You guys probably clicked on this video just to watch enchanting. We're about to do it. I just got to mine all this sugar cane. There's a lot. I'm happy. I don't think we have to get any more. Um, and I'll just leave this here forever. I don't mind the way sugarcane looks a lot. I mean, if it's in the middle of your base, it can get a little uh, annoying, I guess. Um, but I remember in my previous Let's Plays, people were like, Neo, remove that sugarcane. It looks bad. I'm like, why? I think it looks just fine. What's wrong with the sugarcane? I guess people, some people just have this adverse adversity against sugarcane. I don't know why. They're sugar sugarcane racist. They're racist against this genome of plant. I don't know if genome is the right word. I'm trying to sound fancy. Just let me sound fancy, okay? All right. We're going to make this hyperbole of photosynthesis here. Okay. Nice photosynthesis. And then we're going to make some more hyperboles with a few endometrial reactions. Okay. I'm just making up words. I'm not making up words. I know those are real words, but I don't think they mean what I'm saying at all. So don't hate on me. I'm just, I'm just trying to be silly here. Okay, so we can make this a full 30 enchantment table very easily. I think this is already a full 30. Yes, um, we have extra bookcases. So one, two, three, four. We need one more bookcase. Just to make this look as fancy as possible. Um, I will do this just to make the crafting table look more in line with everything else. Kind of, Kind of not necessary. But at the same time, it looks good. Okay. We'll put this bookshelf here. We'll make this look good at some point. These bookshelves above the second level are completely wasted, uh, but they look good. Again, I'm trying to go for things that look good. We're not necessarily going for, you know, a full efficiency thing here. We have some extra bookshelves, which is nice. Um, but yeah, we'll just we'll just go ahead and just enchant a pickaxe. Um, I'm, I'll make a new pickaxe and we'll just enchant it. Uh, first of all, I want to test if you can enchant a hammer. We need some lapis. Maybe a little bit more than that. We'll make another diamond pickaxe. Just a brand new one. Just because we can. And we have extra diamonds, so why not? We'll try to enchant these things. And we'll also make this into lapis. Okay. Let's get down here. Let's let, let's test our luck. Let's see what we can do. Um, first of all, can you enchant a hammer? You can. Fortune 2? Question mark? <laughs> I like the question. Uh, but this is going to be better. Fortune 2? Okay, Fortune 2, Efficiency 4. That's not bad. Silk Touch and Efficiency 4. I don't know how good that is. That's really not that great. 
but it is an interesting enchant. This is what I'm most excited about. Fortune 2 is fine. I would like it to be a little better. Can we enchant a book real quick just to see what we get? Piercing, efficiency? No, I'm good. Okay. Interesting. All right, well, oh, well, hold on. Let me turn off the shaders before I go underground. We're going to test out these new tools. Yeah, this world just doesn't look the same without shaders. Okay, I thought I was about to die. All right, so we have Silk Touch on this. <laughs> of course, there's diamonds just right there hiding from us. Um, this is Fortune 2, so I want to make sure to mine with this when we're getting diamonds. Uh, we don't have torches in our hand. Okay. So, Fortune 2, very quick. Oh, we should mine this with just normal. Sorry. But we can get a ton of stone brick now, which is actually a big plus. And here's why. I'll, you know how I was talking about making a big old wall? Well, if I'm going to make a big old wall, ideally... Oh, man. I don't want to get coal. Um, ideally, I'd like the, the, the wall to be made out of something other than cobblestone. Stone brick is an excellent candidate. Um, I also realize now that this pickaxe is going to run out just so quickly. Uh, but is, if you can tell now why I want to make one of those hammers, if you can't see it now, I'm sorry I can't help you. But I really want to make a, a diamond hammer. Do you know how fast that would be with the right end chance? Dude, we would, be, we would be mining at a rate that's just ridiculous. We would be, we would be so, so efficient and so fast. Well, first of all, not even first of all, third of all, I don't even know if that's right. Look at that. Oh, God. Okay. What are you doing here? Get out of here. We don't need you. We already have our inventory. Our inventory is already full. We were just mining a bunch of stuff. We can't even hold. We'll just put up the smooth stone into here. The ores we'll worry about in the future. I just want to mine with this. If anything, it's a proof of concept. It works. I can mine with, or I can enchant a hammer, which is absolutely awesome. <coughs> I just, I really am excited about that. Just because it's a new tool, and it's a lot of fun to use, and it works really well. This is a fortune. We need to mine this a fortune. Thank you so much. Wow, we got 62 lapis from that. Maybe not 62. I mean, we probably already had a little bit in our, in our inventory, but either way, it was a lot. Um, and for some reason, this stuff is not affected by the enchants you have. Or, sorry, it is not affected by the hammer. Redstone isn't. Again, if the mod developer's ever watching, this is a bug. You don't have to fix it or anything, but it, it would be nice if it was fixed, I guess. We have a lot of smooth stone, <laughs> if you can't tell. Um, it also won't mine this basalt, or whatever it is, dark stone. I don't remember, what was it called? Lava stone. It won't mine lava stone, which is okay. You know, it, it's a modded block, that's understandable, but redstone, I don't know why it wouldn't mine that. That's a, that's a default block, but I'm hoping by doing this I can discover some diamonds pretty quickly. Um, we haven't had any luck thus far, um, but, you know, we haven't done it for that long. But maybe eventually we can discover diamonds. You know what I need to do? I'm literally creating, like, a giant mob spawner down here. I need to put torches down. Otherwise, we're going to end up in a whole world of trouble once we come back down here. So, don't let me forget, you know, because you can tell, you can totally tell me, you know, as I do this to place torches down. But, yes, it's very, it's, it's pertinent that I put torches down. You know it's important when I say the word pertinent. How close is this to our ladder? Where's our ladder? It's on the other side of this wall. Okay, so we can't be too close to it. You know what I'm going to do is I'm just going to destroy all the blocks around the ladder. And then we'll know not to mess with this area. So it's this right here. Yes, do not mine this, these, these special blocks right here. It's a big no-no. It'll mess up the entire world. Not really. But it'll be bad. We shouldn't do it. However, it will mine coal and iron ore very quickly. So, like, if there's an iron, if there's a pocket, that was a bad idea. I could have so just fallen into lava. The world needs to teach me a lesson because I keep doing dumb stuff like that. And it's only a matter of time before I do it once too many times and I just lose all my stuff. But yes, can we find some more diamonds on camera? Can we make this exciting? Can we find some diamonds? I don't like drilling down here because it's a layer too far down. So, what I'm going to do is just fill it in. Because we have smooth stone. No one, no one will know. How far did I make this path? Okay, not too far. Yeah, not too far at all. Until I realized I was on the wrong level. And I was like, oh no. Can't, can't have that. Um, this pickaxe is faster and I'm lazy. I will eventually get unbreaking enchants. I mean, hopefully that auto fisher. Um, if you guys, you know, the thing we have auto fishing for us. Hopefully that yields us something good. I would, I would be very happy if that would give us, you know, maybe an enchanting 
book, you know, with like fortune or mending, perhaps. You never know, guys. Okay, so we're getting just, 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 just a, just too much smooth stone. I think there's probably a couple of stacks just on the ground that we're just losing. Uh, but anyways, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please do leave it a like. I found it quite fun. Um, I, I really do. Like that, that was that was a lot of fun to be able to mine that much stuff that quickly. Um, rarely does that happen. You don't ever get to mine things at such a, a, a quick rate. Even with really good tools, I mean, you can't do it in default Minecraft. I'm going to go up here. I'm going to fancy up. Oh, yes. Zombie, you know what? Get, get Just, no. Um, I'm going to fancy up the enchantment table a little bit. You will see how it looks next episode. But thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in either a live stream or something of the sort very, very soon. Anyways, I'll end the episode with sleeping. Bye.